What I have over here is the standard project that you get when you run Raza init, but with a little bit of extra behavior that allows you to tell the assistant about your t-shirt size. It's currently set up in such a way that whenever we detect a shirt size entity, that we are then also able to set a slot value. And this can be nice because this way, whenever the user tells us their t-shirt size, we may be able to use that information later in the conversation, for example, by using a custom action. However, there is a unfortunate side effect by having our slot value being implemented this way. And I'll give an example. In Raza Shell, I'll just start by saying hi. It is then telling me, hey, how are you? And then a response theoretically could be, well, I feel kind of medium. And in this sense, the word medium is indicating that you're feeling sad. That is a way of expressing that. However, when this is run, what the assistant is picking up is that I'm using the word medium and that therefore I'm probably telling you something about your t-shirt size. So if I were to say, repeat my shirt size, the assistant has picked up that the shirt size is medium. And if we have a look at the nlu.yaml file, we can also understand why. In our data set, the word medium so far has mainly been used to indicate a t-shirt size. And that is why in this case, there's a little bit of confusion with what should be happening. Now, this example is a little bit theoretical. It's a bit of an edge case, but I do think it's a nice example of a weakness when you implement slots this way. In a conversation, you're typically interested in storing lots and lots of information. And what I hope is that it's clear that we're going to need more than just an entity that we can store inside of a slot. We need something that's a little bit more structured. And this is why in general, if you're going to be collecting lots of information in your assistant, it is a better idea to go for Raza forms. It gives you a different way of collecting information that's just a little bit more structured. And if you have a more structured way of collecting this information, and this extra structure can be used in these slot values as well. You could configure slots to have a condition, for example, where the idea is that only if we are in an active form collecting information, we are going to go and listen to these entity values to set our slots. The idea is that this way, we wouldn't have this issue over here because we would not be looking for a t-shirt size entity unless we are acting inside of a form.